Good evening, morning, night, whatever it is. Cats and chicks all over the world. It's Rebel Racer. Okay, so. Was it two, three days ago when you did it? Yeah. Two days ago, three, depending on. I can't remember now, but my hair was dyed. I'm going to camera close to you guys and see. And I know it doesn't look a whole lot different, but if you can see, it is. It is black now. And that'll be more prominent when I put stuff in it. For wax. Today, what we're going to be using is a War Daddy wax. And we're going to be pairing that with a castaway conditioner. Um, the reason for the dye job is to... Uh, Halloween, I am... Going out, as I said, is Killian Jones, Captain Hook from Once Upon a Time. Also, once uh, Halloween's over, I'm going to start shaving and stuff. And, um, you know, start growing some of my hair out, sideburns and elbows and stuff. I'm not growing the mountain chops, just the long sideburns. Uh, 20 something year old Elvis uh, wrestling thing. I take vocal training and everything set to go again and um it's gonna be uh it's gonna be fun do open mics and stuff as Elvis try to get back into doing that again I was pretty good back in my younger years I'm not too sure about now I ain't got all the makeup and stuff for it like I used to. I didn't. I used to wear makeup when I did before. And uh, for any of you guys out there who ever did drama or ever had to wear makeup for some odd reason, you know how hard that shit is to get off, especially the eyeliner. But Give him more of that war daddy. Some more in the back. The back is the hardest part of my hair to lay down. Especially if I'm going to be doing the duck tail, duck's ass, whatever you want to call it. So, um, for those of you who know, I have two accounts on Facebook, and the Rebel Racer account is the fan page. Now, for those of you who know about me, who have seen my original page, you've probably seen the cover photo for Branch Miller. And, um, that cover photo is a reference to, uh, me and my southern chick, as well as Killian Jones and Emma Swan. Um, me and my southern chick are actually together. Been together about three years, give or take. Um, we met back in Arizona, went to the same church, and, um, And uh, we don't really go to that church anymore. Uh, that's personal reasons. I'm not going to get into that. This is not a religious channel. If you want to understand what I do know about religion, contact me and I'll tell you over Facebook or Instagram. Whatever you want to message me if you want to know what I used to know. What I used to believe that I don't believe anymore. But, um... We, uh... Seems every time we ran into each other, one of us is with somebody else. It's, you know, if I didn't have somebody, she did. If I did, you know, she was single. You know, it was kind of weird. So. It took us four years. Yeah, it took us four years. Um, I came to Tennessee in 2018. 
uh, on December 8th. Actually, I was supposed to fly out December 8th and arrive on Dece uh, December 8th. But my mom and dad wanted to go pick up a puppy that they had I bought. And they figured they were going to uh, Virginia, I believe. Figured they'd have to pass through Tennessee. So they said, well, we wasted some money. Can't get it back, but we'll drop you off. I offered to pay them back when I had time to give them money for that plane ticket, but they told me not to worry about it. So, um, uh, the day before I left, December 7th it was in 2018, she asked to come out and visit me. And I said, sure. And she was trying to find her way on the road, and I led her to the house and introduced her to my old man, my pops. And your mom. Yeah, but my mom was gone at the moment, but she came back and introduced her and everything. And we figured, you know, we knew we liked each other, and I had felt something with the uh, UFC before, but I was just not, you know, I left uh, Arizona for a variety of reasons. But, um, I said I would call her when I got, um, got settled in, and two or three days in, I got into a little bit of a fight with the guy I was living with. You called me the day after you got here. I did? Mm hmm Uh. You said we just, we made it safely yesterday. Mm hmm and then we started talking more after that, and that's when we finally admitted our feelings. Really pissed off the guy I was living with since he was a homosexual. He was thinking he was going to get more from me, but I don't go for that bullshit. And you tried, 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 tried to tell him beforehand. Yeah, I tried many times beforehand to tell him, you know, the shit isn't going to go the way you're expecting. Brother, I said, I came here as your friend. And that's it. And he was like, well, I thought, you know, I was like, well, you thought wrong, buddy. I mean, we had a falling out. Uh, we got back in contact after a while. And so far, he's actually been a big freaking help. Little guy knows a lot. Both of us. And both of us. I mean, he's fixed our toilet. He's fixed our plumbing. He turned our gas on. I mean, this... He's worked with our electric a little bit. I mean, he was he was good. Um, so good person to have. Otherwise, this shit would. The be. shower rod wouldn't stay up. Yeah, the shower rod wouldn't stay up. He he jury rigged that shit. And the sink broke on us a few days ago. He put in a whole new system. I mean, he put in a whole new head and a whole new pieces of pipe. I mean. We should say that our trailer is so old we didn't have a shut-off valve under the sink when yeah, we our, turned the whole thing off. Yeah, if you didn't hear her, she just said, our trailer is so old, this shit was built in the 70s, there's no shut-off valve inside the trailer. You have to go out to the road, to the county and shut it off, and you gotta be really careful, because county can be assholes about that kind of shit. Shut off the whole house's water. Yeah, shut off everything, no water mass, can't. Needless to, to say, now we have a shut-off valve under the sink. Yeah, Jake installed a shut-off valve underneath the sink, so... <laughs> you guys are going to be laughing when all this shit's gone, I guarantee you. You're going to laugh your asses off. I'm going to look a lot younger. Anyways... That's just the I just wanted to show you guys a new die job and let you all know. So I'm not single and I'm happily so that way. Um also uh, a question that was brought up a few days ago. Um Young Cat asked me about um He's 16 and he's in high school and he says that uh, he hasn't found anybody else that's like him. Another greaser. Dude, I've been out of high school now almost 20 something years. And I, I don't, you know, we're spread out, man. We're not found in the same spots. I mean, maybe if you 
get a few of your close friends together and show them how cool this is and what the style does, then maybe, maybe you'll have a, a, a group of friends that you can, you can buddy around with. Um, but if that's who he is, be true to who he is, then... Yeah, don't, don't change just because you can't find somebody like you. Um... Connect more with the online community. Yeah, connect with the online community. Uh, you know, go to car shows. Go to... Go to car shows. Go to, um... You know, events with rock and roll, rockabilly. Go to, um... Go to motorcycle rallies, you know, get yourself involved with some bikers if you can. Those those people will be a big fucking help to you later on. But he uh, graduates in a couple, he'll be out of high school either way in a couple of years. So. Yeah, give it two more years, brother. Yeah, maybe hang out. in there and wherever he goes, he'll, he's bound to find someone. Yeah, especially, uh, you know, go down go down to SoCal, Southern mm -hmm. California. There's a big scene down there. There's even a, a scene in the northern part, Rockville Community, uh, Tennessee, Mississippi, those, uh, a lot of southern states. There's a lot of us down in the southern states. We're more of the um, southern type, you know, a little bit of redneck, greaser mixed together, um, you know, Confederate Americans. Just, just stay true, man, and you, you'll find somebody, and someday you'll find your own pinup and your own, your own southern chick, your own Emma, your own Snow White, whatever you want to find, your own princess. All right, guys. Um, I gotta go pick up some more medicine for myself. And... Hey! Quiet! I know I'm off camera, but my southern chick would also like to add that she is happily taken too. Yep, y'all yeah, heard it. So, in the words of Locks, stay sharp, stay savage. All of us around the world, you know, GTFO, grease the fuck out or get the fuck out. And as always, from yours truly, stay greasy, cast, stay sexy, chicks, be cool. And as always, keep a rockabilly. I'm Rebel Greaser. I'm over and out.